If you have a successful parathyroid surgery and your PTH numbers during surgery drops and after surgery your calcium and PTH are lower and they're much lower in the normal range, can they normalize in the normal range and function properly? I'm Dr. Bob Akhlarian from Center for Advanced Parathyroid Surgery. And the answer is yes. So when you develop hyperparathyroidism, that's because you get a mutation in one cell, right? And that mutation is set for a higher calcium number, right? So if your normal calcium setting is 9.0, right? Let me draw it in a darker, 9.0. And this abnormal cell is set for 11.5, as this grows and grows and grows and produces more and more PTH, it takes the system hostage and tries to keep you at a calcium 11.5. But your remaining three parathyroids that are not abnormal, which have shrunken because they're not working, are still set for 9.0. And once the tumor is removed, right, your calcium pH numbers will drop because these glands have shriveled up and are smaller. And in time, usually generally speaking, it takes about three weeks, they grow larger and produce more and more PTH so that your numbers can be not only in the normal range hovering around nine, but irreversible and responsive to your body's needs. So yes, they can definitely normalize and do their function really well. If you're interested in clear parathyroid information, visit us at parathyroid.net. Be well.